Hey everyone, what's going on? I've been waiting for a long time to make this video. I'm finally getting around to doing Saving Ashram. So you're gonna come to Burr, however you can get there. Speak with the Collector Golem. If you could bring to me any sign of your involvement in Lord Ashram's release, salvation, or defense, I'm prepared to reward you for your aid. Awesome, so we're going to head into the Southern Catacombs through all the NPCs and then to the east. And to the right for the southern catacombs. I'm gonna go to the right when you enter. And then immediately make a left. And then we'll go straight here. And then where there's the portal, we're gonna use the rock. From the drop, we're going to head in. We've done. We've been to this uh, dungeon a few times in a few different videos. Um, one thing to make sure of when you're running this quest is that the mana barrier is down. I have previously done it, and I already have a video on that. But if you haven't, this is the dungeon you would come to, and uh, then you would go take the mana barrier down. It has to be down for you to run this quest. So we're going to go all the way around and into this big room up the ramp and continue up, I think, straight. Nope. Oh. until we get to a Temple of the Three portal, which is gonna be here. And we're gonna go in. From the drop, we're gonna head east. We'll head north and then west. We're just making a loop. Yeah, so when you from the drop, you're actually going to want to go south and then around to the east, and then you'll come to this down. You'll go down, and then here it shouldn't matter anymore. I believe it's linear from there. Just keep heading north. You can ignore these side passages. Hopefully the Guruk get out of the way. Yeah. Okay, and then you'll get to this pit. You jump down. Head straight again. Hopefully not getting blocked by anybody. You'll go through and you'll go straight and you'll come to the first gate guardian. Now there's going to be, I believe, five of these. Should go down pretty quickly if you're, you know, yeah. So my summon like one shot that basically. You're gonna grab a first locked gate key. Thought I healed, but I guess it didn't. First locked gate, and just use it on the gate and then continue forward. And then we're gonna do this four more times. Hopefully just as easy every time. Should always be just straight, ignoring all the side passages. You'll come to the next gate down the ramp. There's the guardian. This time I didn't drop my summon perfectly, so I've got to do the dirty work. 11,000 regular hit. Same thing, we're going to loot the second locked gate key this time. Pop the gate. Continue on. Continue on. 
straight south through here. Oh nice, the third gate is a lot closer than the second one was. Oops. He resisted my spell. Oh yeah, even with just Imperil, the summon just destroys that guy. So that's three. I feel like maybe I'm not. Okay. I'm just debuffed a lot. There we go. Fourth locked gate key. fifth lock gates right there. Sweet. I don't know why some of them are so far apart and some of them aren't. Missed my summon spot again. That's okay. Fifth locked gate key, that should be the last one. And now we should run through and find several mana barriers that we have to destroy to continue onward. There's a portal to the Burr Catacombs, I'm not sure why that's there. Guess if you get stuck. Okay, here's the mana barrier. like we can. We're just going to attack it at high speed. I'm using a bludgeon because I was taking me a while to land the bludgeon bomb. So many debuffs. It's not so bad though. There we go. That's the first one. And we got to do the second one. Oh, did I just get all my spells debuffed? Oh, that's so brutal. Uh, I'm so mad at myself for not hopping that trap. Okay, that's good enough. Should be good enough. There we go. Alright. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I didn't fully buff. Anyway, then you run through and use the crystal array. It should summon a portal, and then you have to go in. 
Okay, so now you are in the Temple of the Three Ritual Chamber. This is the portal, remember, next to the rock that we used. Now you are flagged to go into that portal. All right, well, now that I'm uh, rebuffed, I can head in. I do recommend doing this with a few friends. Um, we'll see how this goes solo. Um, it definitely helps to have summons because one of the bosses at the end uses smite, which instantly one hits you. So if you have a summon who can take that, then you're in good shape. But we're just going to head in and then we're going to destroy the statue. Or try to. All right, then you go to strike the final blow against the statue and it disappears. Three voices echo in unison. They're trying to disrupt the ritual, stop them. And then a whole boatload of monsters spawn. Two gacks are a really good way to clear this initial waves. Summons help, and then once you, I think, I don't know if you have to clear all of them, but then a whole bunch of matriarchs are gonna spawn. Along with I think the general, I don't know, maybe this is an earlier, just the next wave. There we go. So, Sclavis Ritualists are going to spawn, and General Tain Kivix. They like their X's and what not these guys do. I think he's undead. Yeah, undead. So a fire undead slayer is very good against him. Oh. All right, there's the general dead. Now we have to kill all these ritualists. And every, you have to kill all the Sclavis. Everything in this room basically has to die. Once everything dies, three bosses are going to spawn. And I do recommend running up to the top of the ramp. Um, like right as soon as you clear this wave so that you're ready for that.
Okay, that should be everything dead. You're going to want to drop summons on the ramp so that they can run down and engage the bosses. There they are. And then you're going to want to start with the high accolade of sacrifice. It's the most deadly one. Oh, and it just smited my summon. So we're going to hopefully not draw his aggro. I think it's too late. Oh, he smited my stamina. Okay, we can deal with that. Please don't smite me at my health. <laughs> oh. This guy is such a pain. Please aggro my summons instead of me. <laughs> Please. Please don't smite me. <laughs> yes, he's on my summon. They just smited my summon. Please don't smite me. Please don't smite me. Please, I'm praying. <laughs> I beg you. I don't know what he's doing. He's like stuck. This is amazing. Yes, he's on my summon again. Oh my god, that was so lucky. Oh my god. He smited my summon twice and never sm smited me. Okay, so once he's dead, you're kind of, you're not, I don't want to say in the clear, but these two are way easier. They do not cast smite ever. And you'll notice that you get a global message for each one that you kill on far off Burr. A telling blow has been dealt against the ritual of the three. Felseroth has killed the high acolyte of sacrifice. And that's going to happen for each one of these bosses and for the statue at the end. So, a ton of global messages if you really like global messages. <laughs> they really do like to uh, cast, I think, Scourge. What's, what's that one do? Total stamina, and they like to do the health one too to lower your total health. But honestly, I can deal with that. I can dispel that. You cannot dispel a smite. <laughs> There's a second one. Say it's the same global message, it's just high acolyte of the blood instead of high acolyte of um, sacrifice. They seem to be like getting stuck in some kind of spell anime or like deciding to do a spell or maybe they're just attacking at full power. I don't know. Oh, and there we got some help at the end. <laughs> nice. That's the third one down. So once you kill the third one, the statue should spawn. Try to imperil it. It's got really high magic D for whatever reason. Oh, the brilliance is clutch. We got imperil at least. It's not the end of the world. 555 life magic getting resisted. There we go. Where are my bludgeon arrows? There. It's kind of annoying to me that this statue is so difficult to kill because you just went through this like really hard like fight and it's super anticlimactic to like struggle to kill a statue that's just like stone standing there. But 
It is what it is. <laughs> All right. On far away, Burr Felsaroth has shattered the statue bound to Asheron's essence into thousands of pieces. The Flatica ritual collapses and a portion of Asheron's essence is returned. And then a whole bunch of these glowing statue shards will now drop on the ground. I'm gonna pick one up. They are on, I believe, a 20 hour timer. Yeah, 20 hour timer. And then we are going to head down this pathway. There's a temple of the three a Burr catacombs and a Korgersha portal, so we'll use the Korgersha one. Back to the Collector Golem and hand in the shard. Uh, it's 25,000 luminance, 300 million experience, the title of Asheron's Defender, an empowered Empyrean robe, a fortified Mana Forge key, which is four uses, and 10 MMDs. This fortified Empyrean robe has like a bazillion spells on it, a bunch of level eight spells and some majors, so it's not really that great, but looks pretty cool. So that's going to be it for this one. A really long video, I know. I don't, we'll see how long I can get it down to in editing, but um, it's a really fun quest. And when you repeat it, it's a lot easier. At least on the emulator right now, you don't have to redo the gates. So you can just go back to that last fight, which is actually kind of a fun fight. Um, and now, now we can do Burr Recall and we can do Airbax's Prodigal Lugian. So look out for those videos. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please press that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And thanks again. Bye.